Crisis for the Empire. After a string of defeats at the hand of Void, big stinky coward C70 calls for assistance. The Emperor has dispatched two of his mightiest Void enhanced troops to the front lines. Will their combined might be enough to stop Void? <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. Hello everyone, welcome to Rimworld. So, once again, the comment section has saved the day with a mod recommendation. So I was checking the comments yesterday and somebody said, Hey, why don't you try out this particular mod? And I thought to myself, that's very peculiar. I could have sworn I've already included that mod in the mod pack based on some suggestions from Discord. Turns out I'd added it to the wrong friggin' pack. So if you were playing the uh, the first royalty pack I ever made for Rimworld, congratulations, you just got a mod added to that a year later. So the morning question is combat readiness check by Marvin and updated by Mli. M Malai? I don't know how you say that, but we got we should really give a shout out to Mli, Malai at some point, because without them, like, half of the Rimworld mods I play would probably be dead and not updated. Anyway, uh, when you've made as many Steam Workshop collections as I have, it generally tends to break Steam, so not 100% my fault there, but I've thrown that in. Basically, the way this mod works, I won't cover all of it, but you can go and have a look for yourself. It bases raid strength on weapons and armor and turrets and animals that you've trained for combat, your combat strength, rather than how many fancy chairs you have in your base. I thought this was a perfect addition to the series. Well, evidently I didn't, because I didn't fucking include it the first time around. Anyway, here we are with our two new friends, E64 and B75, a couple of uh, decently armed, decently powerful individuals, because I thought even with that taken into account, even if we weren't playing on the 500% threat and we were playing on 100% threat, we'd have still had our ass handed to us. Even even if we weren't five times as strong as we should be at this point, we're not prepared. So I, I figured a couple of extra guys here. The Emperor figured a couple of extra guys thrown along here might help C70 not end the series three episodes in. So here they are. If you're curious about what they're wearing, it's something called Nano Armor, which is added by Glitter Tech. Um, they're, they're pretty powerful sets of armor, I won't lie to you. Uh, 85 sharp on the head there, and Nano Suit gives... 85% um, sharp as well. So they're, they're both very, very good. It does lower work speed and move speed. So there is some some side effects to that. These guys are also void enhanced, not massively. Compared to C70, they look like little bitches when it comes to uh, moving manipulation, that type of thing. Neurocalculator, super seducer implant, because look, it's the void. You, you've got it. You've got to counteract the bad with good. Uh, exoskeleton suits, some fancy ribs, and, and some void tech implants there. Nothing massively impactful, but it's some extra guns in the, in the battlefield, seeing as right now all we have is a naked lady and someone who can't walk. I'll be completely honest, even with all this extra stuff, we're gonna get pounded. We're gonna get absolutely destroyed. But there's a chance we might be able to fight back now. So I'm I'm happy to happy to take the changes here and move on with my life. And we'll pretend that it was always this way. You guys remember when we started the series with three colonists, right? And I didn't decide to try and take on the void at 500% threat and a really hard storyteller by myself. No, no, no. Bloodshed for hire. Three group of members from Void. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll do a proper introduction to our new characters here. Excuse me, you two. Come on, come on, line up in the kitchen. There we are. So we've got uh, E64 and B75. Their stats were semi-random, and then I just bumped it up to be a bit more in our favor, because, you know, we're getting fucking trounced. Industrial Iron World, uh, E64 is good at cooking and plants and crafting with his hands, and then B75 is good at... Uh, Construction, mining, uh, crafting potential, but obviously not fantastic right now. Industrial Sign World as well, because at the end of the day, they're the Emperor's Shock Troops. You, you, you kind of expect that, right? And they have some various guns from Void. I don't entirely know what they do. I haven't tested them. It just said Void on the label, and I thought, boy, that might even the odds a little bit. We've got three Void weapons, and they've got, <laughs> like, ten, but never mind, you know. We'll see how it goes. <gasps> Broccoli is throwing a party. What? Broccoli? What are you... Why? <laughs> ah, some party. Wow, e. Sure, I'm entirely comfortable with everything that's going on in here, but... Uh... Oh, here he is. C70, man of the hour. Welcome, welcome. Oh, not look at that. Right on time. We can actually make some bloody beds now. Uh, I'm going to have to carve out a couple more bedrooms, though, aren't I? Damn it. Well, I suppose if we keep the bedrooms relatively central to... Kind of near the kill box. If, the, if boys sneak up on us at night time, we can at least react a little bit faster then. This is crazy. We can get things built so fast now compared to when we have one person. <laughs> what, what do you mean Rimward is a colony manager? I thought it was just one person out in the wilderness. Marriage is on. Oh, that was bloody fast. I didn't even realize they were lovers. E64 will change his last name to... Uh, oh, that's helpful. Thank you. Is this really the time? 
It's really the time. Wait, who did the... Oh my god, C70 just finished microelectronics. That's big. Okay, stop. What are our next research available? Fucking props. Props, wallpaper, casual wear, statues. I don't want bloody props. Uh, should we reroll? I think we only get one reroll, but... I, I mean, casual wear could be useful. We could get jumpsuits and shit like that. Sure. It, it's only 600. It, I think we should only reroll if we get a lot of expensive stuff that we just don't want. You know, like, like building the spaceship or something like that. Another one. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, so we've got a mutagenic ship down here that we could, to be fair, probably deal with quite easily now. And then we've got this one up here too. Sunblocker. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Let's send them in. This, this would be a good test run. See how good these guys are. We hit that. Nice. Wow. Oh, shit. They do a lot of damage. I mean, it's void weapons. What do you expect? That was easy. Good work. I'm looking for... That was fairly convenient, because I probably wouldn't have noticed that. I'm looking for a little bit more silver. If we get another 100 silver, we can set up another settlement. Ideally, another mining colony, but a bit safer. You know, somewhere in the world where we don't have to worry about bloody void so much. On the subject of that, how are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the Empire. And then, obviously, three for us. So, 11 for our faction in total. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are ahead, but slightly, very slightly. And the Void Red is obviously much more powerful than ours. So really, we're not doing well. Really, really, we're, we're still going to get annihilated. You two, are, you two are far too happy. What the hell's going on here? Got some loving times too. Opinion of my fiance. Okay, fair enough. Defeated Met Cluster. Attended party. You're too happy. You're too give it, give it a minute. Give it a minute or two when Void turn up. Microelectronics are pretty huge for us, given that we're relying on Empire for a lot of our economy. So we can stick down a couple of trade beacons, which I've done. I've got a comms console there, too. I'm just going to be watching and waiting like a hawk now for any sort of trade ship to turn up. We can also start working on a proper research lab and really start cracking out some, hopefully, glitter tech stuff, if we get lucky. Feeling generous, I might also make uh, Broccoli some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> 2,681. I want to put down some sort of safe mining settlement somewhere. Oh, look at that. 1.56 right there. Oh, shit. There's loads over here. The Empire aren't going to mine if I settle there either, are they? Boom. There you go. Oh, shit. Faction leveled up. Right, cool. So I think that means we get to pick another... We get to pick another thing, don't we? So that's a new trait. So we've got resilient. Prosperity losses reduced by 50% when attacked. Cannot lose buildings or settlement levels upon failed defense. That could be really good. Raid has increased the value of loot by 20% when raiding. Military forces are available one day sooner after using them to raid. Oh, shit. That could be good. Defense in depth. A plus two level bonus when defending could also be insane. Oh, shit. I have no idea. Industrious is really, really fun. We had that during the Santa series, and that, that really did pop off. Ah. Uh, ah. I've got to go defense. You know I've got to go defense. We've, the, the reason we're rebuilding a whole new settlement is because of a lack of defense. Oh, no. I think I hate it. Watermill generators, vehicle props, food condiments. <laughs> well, we could go for uh, ketchup, watermills, or chocolate. Brilliant. This will help. I'm going to take ketchup because at least then we can make nice meals and keep everybody in a good mood, right? More, more combat ready. Okay, okay, okay. This one's better. Drug production. Industrial props, carpet making, gas extraction, or conveyors. Conveyors is a really nice step towards getting all of the factory stuff unlocked. Drug production could be fantastic, though. Uh, carpet making for doormats. This is, this is a tricky one. Why don't we take a look, see if we've actually got any gas lines around. Uh, steam vents, we've got chem fuel ponds. Is that helixian gas right there? Well, we'd have to expand the wall out around it. But it would be pretty nice, consistent power, and it's immune to solar flares as well, which is one of the side effects of Void. Um, man, that could be quite good. And we haven't got any good ways to power the base right now. We don't have batteries either. You know what? Go for it. Oh. Okay. A hostile scouting party of Void with 545 combat powers marching towards Shell Prime. <laughs> I'd forgotten we'd call it that. Thank you, comment section. Wait! Schroeder can walk. If she can walk, she can fight. Is that is that them there? Heading towards shithole prime. 400, 545 combat power. Is that is that good? Is that a lot? They're sending out another settler wagon? Sir, this is unbelievable. What are they doing there? Uh, returning to A9. Okay, so they're leaving. The Empire have just really forward settled there. Holy shit. Don't worry. This is fine. This is fine. They're over there. It's, it's one person. It's two people. 549 is two people? Oh, God. Okay, then. 
In you go. Good luck. Let's spread out as much as possible. Good luck. How fast do they move? They move very they move very fast, sir. They're digging up my wooden walls. You stay away from my wooden walls. Hey! Maybe we should just run back to our uh... Okay, okay, okay. That's another deal. Run and gun, run and gun, run and gun. What have you got equipped? You got one of those big old Oh good shot, good shot, good shot. Okay, this is this is danger zone. This is danger zone. Uh Broccoli, weapon. Everybody, run and gun. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Shoot. <gasps> Straight through the heart. What a guy. Bon Jovi would be proud. Right, everybody over here. Everybody over here. Okay. Holy crap. Manger Joris, you are going to get yourself. He's gone. He's dead. That's it. That's the end of hauling cloth to tall shelves. Mangy fucking Joris, you fool. Sir. Where is he going? Emergency? What? That's not emergency. Where are you going, you stupid bear? Oh, good lord. Okay, okay. He's gone. He's gone to a better place. Parry this, casual. Broccoli's fucking down. Please. Please. Oh my god. We we, <laughs> we lost two people in like the easiest fucking raid. Oh, we're probably gonna lose two people, I'll be honest with you. Okay, you've lost a leg. You've lost a leg. 28 days waiting to walk and now you're back to square one. <laughs> what the hell did that- what did, what did we get out of that? Oh, the death of Sidifar has just completely destroyed them. Okay. Uh, Neurotonin 8B. It's a pill that can heal health conditions rapidly. Wait, what? I was regarding this mysterious pill. What? What What health conditions, though? Like bleeding? Or, like, entire legs missing? Because we've got a lot of that now. Okay, here's the plan. Uh, you rescue Broccoli. You rescue Schroeder. You pick up the magic pills. It's one of those series. Cannot pick it up too heavy. Too fucking heavy. Too heavy. Throw down the, the copper cleaver there. Right, you've got it. You've got it. Good work. Okay, tend to manger Joris. No, 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 no. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's administer. Uh, what was it called? Be something fancy. There we are. Administer red wine. Feel like that probably won't help, to be blunt. Oh, look, look. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to work? Boom. You're up. Already? <gasps> it, it works. It's cured them. I can't help but notice the gun was called Corpse Destroyer. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Corpse Maker? Yeah, sure. Corpse Destroyer? No, no, no. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Right, Broccoli, get up. Get up, Broccoli. Shot afresh. Okay, you fight. No, 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 no. Operate, operate. Are you good? Oh. <gasps> How avoid this powerful? <laughs> so mid-combat, they could use that on themselves. That's ridiculous. Well, at least we got some red wine out of it. Oh, fine, the fine vintage, the 2375. What's Manger Jarrus doing? Right eye, permanent gunshot injury. I mean, Manger Jarrus is going to look cool as hell. As you can see, an incredibly balanced experience. Three people with void weapons fighting one void guy. Uh, and we, we barely managed it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Let's get them buried. I don't want to look at them anymore. Oh, not again. Hey, get out of here. Hold on. Let me just finish. Uh, what, do, what do you want? Void. Six, seven, nine. My God, they're even stronger. Well, that's good. Okay, hold on a second then. Oh, God. Hello. Where are they? Uh, oh, they've bought a friend this time. They've bought a horrible, spooky friend. We've got O'Donnell. We've got Jada, who's got two guns. If we could knock one down and strip them. Ooh. I'd actually be able to use the kill box this time too. Look at this. Let's not call that a kill box. Oh, God. Are you fucking kidding me? This is unfathomable. This is unfathomable. Run, E. C70 is down. It's too strong. It's too much. What the fuck has happened? He's a fox. He's a fox man. Why has this happened? I don't want a stinky fox man. Oh no. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what's this? No, this is your voidy voidy. Oh, this is fucking great. Brilliant. 
Who'd have thought? Seven zeros on the back of a bear. It's furries. Furries versus the void. Should have called the series that. So in conclusion, this thing's gotta go. Like, pretty fucking fast. Are you stood too close? Yes. Yes, you are. Moderate? No, 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 no. Serious? Am I supposed to get close enough to kill the fucking thing? Oh, God. She, her hair's gone grey. Why is her hair gone grey? Thick wool. Thin hair. What the hell's going on? Run. Oh, hello, Joris Prime. Nice to see you. Oh, Joris Prime is probably going to turn into a full-blown man. I, I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate it. Luckily, it was all a dream. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bring it. Bring your big gun. Let's minimize losses here. Well, what's, who's got the longest range weapon? Wake up. Right, what have you got? Okay, that thing's pretty good. That thing's good. What about you? That thing's significantly less good. Okay, E64. Go kill the ship that turns people into animals. Look! It's already affecting him, and we... Oh, right, kill. Please kill it. Please, just kill it. Just fire. It doesn't matter about the mechanoids. Just kill the ship. Just kill the ship. Keep firing. Mechanoids are little bitches compared to what we've seen. Come on. Good, good. Run. Get out of there. Run, 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 run. Go. Okay. He's down. He's down. But he's he's done a he's done a great thing for the colony. Okay, okay. Get in there. Get in there. How you doing? Is it just it just bruises, damages? Yeah, it's, it's nothing to worry about really. Just extreme pain. That's fine. And uh, soon to be on fire. Oh, hello. You got here fast. Uh, B75, rescue E64. Go. C70. Kill. Oh, whenever you're ready. Sorry, take your time. Good. Yes. Good. Go. Go. Yes. Kill. Right. Get in there. B75's got him. Look at the bravery. That centipede has two weapons. Oh my god, the bravery. Right, go C70. Bring him down. For God's sake, kill them all. You know what? I think we're good. No, don't send me a raid. Oh, thank God. Another shuttle? The Empire really needs to consider buying, buying a different brand. Okay, we good? Mechanoid dealt with? What did we get? We got a mechanoid ship reactor. Now, this was the thing that, that Smiley yesterday stole from us. We need to send a reverter. Oh, that's good. Okay, that could be quite handy. Oh, wait. This thing is just a, uh, a vanimetric power cell. Output 1,000 watts. Oh, that's fantastic, because right now we've got nothing but wind turbines in there. Doing just a fucking terrible job. <laughs> Six watts. <laughs> How is this fair? The next rate is six emus. I mean, you ask any Australian, they'll know that's far worse than any void. How is that even r reasonable? I mean, not, no, 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 no. <laughs> It's, it's probably quite confusing. What I mean by that is, how is it reasonable to send a void raid of like three people and a big lady? Yeah, apparently six emus are equivalent. Hey, whoa, 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 look. The Empire's actually pushed them back. Because if you remember, there was another settlement that was within range of... Was there not one slightly further? A9, I think it was called? Shit, did they actually destroy one? Okay, there we go. So now we've got a decently stable power grid, or at least we will in a second. What have we got next? Carvings, auto doors, a fueled ASRG, whatever the hell that is. What the hell is a fueled ASRG? Well, good luck finding it. Uh, what are you? Uh, advanced sterling radio isotope generator. Produces 2,500 watt days using refuelable uranium. Oh, cool. Attached to an advanced sterling engine with study heat rooms it's placed in. Okay, um, I mean, it's not super relevant right now. I think I'd rather have auto doors. Oh. Jesus, that was fast. Okay. Uh, basic conveyors. Oh, shit. Solar panels. Well, I mean, power is probably going to be okay. Basic conveyors could lead to really, really great things. Farming techniques to try and get a bit more out of the land. Seeing as we've barely got anything. Oh, I don't know. These all aren't, aren't super, super good. Let's go solar panels. That'll at least give us advanced solar panels eventually. Dragon. A wandering world eater dragon. Oh, hello. Oh, you seem friendly. Uh, sure. Let's tame you. Why not? Sure, this gun and badly. Oh, they are kind of cool, eh? Uh, who's our best animal handler then? It's gotta be, it's gotta be C70. Okay, yeah, good. What are we up to? 15. All, all that Joris training has, uh, has paid off. King of the Bears, Joris Prime is here to oversee negotiations and or rip its face off in the event that everything goes. Oh, God. Feed it tomatoes gently. Manger Joris is here. 17% chance, though. 
Oh, that's a gamble. The expansion going around down here so we can put down the Helixian pump. Let's put the gas tank somewhere a little less vulnerable. Oh, fuck right off. Uh, <laughs> I really do think the game is very confused about what difficulty we want right now. Yeah, I mean, we're still 500% we're still threat, eh? Okay. Uh, good. Yes. Fine. And problem solved. Oh, another power generator. Whoa, shit. I wonder if those will come out of each ship. There's actually a mod I've never played before that was recommended. Uh, it was recommended in Discord. Mecha Me what, what mod is that? Polaris Block. Yeah, I've not actually played with this before. Now, what do you drop? Oh, Plasteel. Hey, that could be good. Let's take this one apart too, then. Oh, man, that's massive. 56 Plasteel. The reason that's so important is for our multi... Sorry, hello? Analyzer? Harrison? Ayo, Ayo, Ayo Harrison? Uh, he's a squirrel man. He's a man that is now a lady that is now a squirrel. Former human. We could use a reverter on them and bring them back to humanity. Can I see your skills? Is this, is this your skills as a squirrel? <laughs> We're lacking components. Okay, I have seen some. We've got some in the mountain there, which isn't ideal. It's quite a lot there, though. This has been really, really, really balanced since I properly used it. Santa series notwithstanding. So it's 300 meters cubed per day. I don't know how that translates to uh, generators anymore. How much Does it say how much it uses up? No, let's, let's go ahead and throw one down and see if we can scale this up. They're only 25 each. And we've got 300 in the grid. 25 into 300 is 12. Jesus, okay. Um, and they produce 1,000 watts a piece as well. Man, that's really good. We don't need it right now, but whenever the grid excess falls pretty low, I mean, obviously the wind turbine's doing pretty well. When we get batteries, it won't be a problem. But the gas tanks kind of act as a, as a consistent power source for us there too. Oh, look at that. Huge, gigantic, absolutely massive hydroponics. That's a 10 out of 10 research right there. <laughs> Unlocks research, artificial ecosystems, food processing, and organ vats. Yeah, that was fast. Whenever C70 does research, it just absolutely flies by because he's got such a high manipulation skill. Uh, oh man, this is a tricky one. I think, I think I've got to go smithing over sterile attire. Oh, it locks tool crafting too. Okay, no, that is that is way more valuable. Hey, that's it. That's exactly what we wanted. Boom, look at that. Okay, so that should speed up just about, well, everything we do at this point. Uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Void Dragon Breath. If anybody's curious, that's quite literally the only reason I added dragons to this mod pack. Uh, because there was a void add-on for it, and I thought, boy, that's thematically appropriate. Ancient World Eater Dragon 1. Wow, I'm gonna call you Keith. <laughs> Ah, uh, hello, Keith. Can come to help us with the research. Multi-analyzers. Oh, my God. We're getting so lucky here. High-tech research bench. Multi-analyzers unlocks the factory research terminal. Moritz machine. I have no idea what that means. I mean, to be fair, we can throw all of our time and effort behind research right now because we really haven't got anything else to do. Have we got any defenses we could be building? Like, like just some kind of generic turrets. And not even because I think they'll help out because against Void, the turrets won't even get through their shields. The point of the turrets is to act as something to take fire away from our people, right? Um, no. Spike traps might not hurt, but even then, I don't think it'll... Well, they, yeah, quite literally, they might not hurt. They won't even get through Void Shield, I don't think. Gun complex, cavalry spike, this is all crap. We need to put, like, a proper kill box. Not like a kill box, kill box, but, like, uh, we need to kill Maze. That's what we need. I thought Broccoli deserves some clothes, so she's all set up now, and we've got some more research to go for here. Wow, this one is fucking terrible. Uh, fire foam poppers before <laughs> YouTube comment section riots. Oh, uh, hello, shot goats. That's better. That's that's the type of raid item I'd expect. I mean, I still think the C70 could probably probably sell all that, no problem. Oh, the goats are massing. Another one. Needle needle posts. That's just a fucking. <laughs> that's the thing from Final Fantasy, right? Are they called shot goats? You know what? I don't want to find out. Run. Run. Oh, Jesus. E64, B75. Help. There's a slight goat situation. Okay. No, no, no. Don't get too close to the goats. They're full of lightning. Okay. We good? Where the fuck is that one going? Really? 
<laughs> this one's tricky. I think I'm gonna take basic conveyors. I mean, Tidal Power is obviously pointless. Long blades, I feel like using spears against void is uh is is not recommended. This one at least puts us on the path to factorization, which again isn't the right word for that, but M machinery? What do, what do you call it? Nice. Okay, then we've got tissue printer. Oh my god, that's for um bionics. Yeah, I think I'll take that one. We've had formal wear and super pod come up a couple of times now. It's only because we've only just already started on the research tree. Until we get a multi-analyzer, this could be a way to metagame it. But until we get a multi-analyzer, there's only certain research we can do anyway, right? Metal fabrication for advanced metals is done. Advanced metals, which we're probably never going to be able to get. Oh, shit. These are terrible. Soup cooking, wall windows, artful display, industrial props, or package survival meals, I guess. Are... Oh, hello. Oh, that was a close one. That was a close one. I thought we were going to get a game over again. What the hell are worker suits? Oh, cool. Uh, designed for General Joe. Who the hell is General Joe? 20%. Oh, wow. That's insane. Oh, improved cabinet. Those are also really good. And writing is pretty good, too. Oh, my God. Terrain rehab. Oh, no. You know what? This is for you, Joe. Pull one out for my man, Joe. <laughs> I mean, like I said, until we get a multi-analyzer, the chance of actually getting these research again is is extremely high because I'm sure there aren't too many research. Bear in mind, we've got a lot of high-tech mods. There's very few of them that are actually going to be researchable without the multi-analyzer. Barhonian's problem is begging you to join... He's begging to join Shithole Prime. Some kind of threat following him. I wonder what that some kind of threat could be. Welcome aboard. God, he better not be terrible. Uh... Couch potato insomniac and vengeful. Let him die. <laughs> really? What are you good at? You're capable of caring, social, intellectual, ten artistic. Well, brilliant. That's what we need. I mean, eight out of twenty cooking. We could do some. We we could do some good work with that. Bear in mind, we're not really doing much in the way of cooking right now, anyway, because I've set our fi our farming settlement to tithe. So we might as well try and train you up into something good. Um, I suppose we'll make you two high level growers as well, uh, assuming you can. Uh, God, you're terrible. And then art, sure. Oh, a solar flare. That's not so bad. Hello. Oh my God, that's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, right. Bear with. Bear with. This could be. This could be a problem. You stand. You stand here. It would make more sense to go all the way around the other side, wouldn't it? Uh, no. Put them like there. And you two can go there. Animals, fucking hide. Uh, you three in the kitchen. Come on then. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, God. Hello. Does anyone else feel suddenly in the mood for Hunter's Chicken? They come. Here they come. Which which do we kill? Wait, they're sending one guy in first. A scout. Kill him. Destroy. Bring him down. Please kill. Good shots. Good shots. Good shots. Okay. Kill. Please. Please kill. Please kill. John R. Kill. No. Please. He's down, he's down, he's down. Kill, kill, kill him, kill him. The bacon wrap menace. Bring him down. Is he dead? He's not fucking dead. Kill him. Why are you not, why are you not killing him? Sir, 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 sir. Sir, cannot shoot in melee. Well, how is that my problem? Punch him then. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh my god, I hate it. Please, just kill him. Just kill him. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Now you kill him. You, you, how you doing? Two conditions tending. Nice. You, weapons out. Kill, 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 kill. It's very simple. Kill. <gasps> no, the Spider-Man. The Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Not today. Peter fucking Parker. The man himself. They've done it. They've done it. They've done it. Cannot shoot in melee. How could I forget? Punch, 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 punch. Punch. Don't punch the wall. Don't punch the wall. Punch the big spider. <gasps> I am void now. Yes! Yes! Die! Did we get anything good out of that? We just got a big spider. Oh, it is a big spider. Can I tame it? <laughs> a weaponized giant spider. A mutant infected with a modified strain of the N4 virus. Oh. Oh, how lovely. What if we butcher it? What do we get out of that? Just... Wow. Just wowie. That's all I can say. What a fight. What a battle. For the Glitter Inquisition, that's right, E664. Incredible move. 
Right, let's butcher him. Let's get him butchered. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You can't send me a, a big pigs in blankets gentleman like that and not expect me to, uh, to, to, what, what does he count as? He's not, he counts as human? <laughs> yes. Mm, mm, mm. What do we get? Just regular meat? Oh, giant spider meat. Is that bad? Should I eat that? Can be cooked into meals or eaten raw. Well, that's a lot of meat too. Fucking hell. What about, what about the meaty gentleman himself? Or maybe we should take off human-like corpses. Wait, those don't count as human-like corpses, do they? Uh, alien corpses. No, they don't, luckily enough. Well, let's turn that off then. Uh, good shit. That's a lot of meat. Look at this. Nothing can stop me now. I have ascended to heights no one ever expected. All the naysayers in the comments. Oh, this will last. Oh, this will be three episodes. Oh, this is going to be a short series. <laughs> best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. But nothing else com nothing else c com compares. Nothing else comes close. That's it. We're done. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow we'll <laughs> probably get wiped out. So, uh, you know, don't expect too much. Thank you to Lilac, I Am Segatair, or Kansas, Avion Prime, Zetlock, Plumby, Fakuna Vasquez, Rathew, Thor, Krusty Rhino, Psychofire, Sweetsy, Juiceda, and everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. All this is thanks to you. I've never felt such adrenaline coursing through my veins. Excellent work. Thank you to Dragon Ryan 13, Lanigan, Omegador, Unique Weapon, Kippos, Atreus Sen, Major Mythical, Kragon, Epilogue, Moondoggy, Struck, Iron, Smurtworm, and Sturm Crower 2. See you all tomorrow for more, more victories. More victories.